I had a question from one of our members about how to do the a macro. Now this comes up later in fifth grade, but for some of you, you might want to do macros early because the students are getting used to headings up here. So you might have to type um, name, teacher, date, yeah, the kids. And maybe you need it a certain way for MLA format or, or something like that. So rather than doing that, this in fifth grade, I teach them to do macros. Um, it'll come up later and I'll probably review it with you again or I'll refer them, you to this video. But let me show you how to do that. To do a macro, you're going to go to View and Macros. I wonder if you can see this. View and Macro. There it is. And then click the macro. And this shows you all the macros you have. This shows you to record one. We want to record it. So we're going to go Record. You're going to use the keyboard. We're going to use a short key for it. So we're going to click there. And then you're going to use your short key. You're, you you want to make sure you pick a short key that hasn't been used for something already. Like if you click Control P, it's going to replace your short key for printing. So you don't want to pick that. So pick one like um, Control H, Control H, Control Shift H. I, I know that one's good because I tested it out. I actually have, I think it will replace the other heading one I put on there as a test. So that's going to be my short key. I'm going to leave it under normal so it shows up just for the normal template, the one that loads every time, not for this particular lesson. I just want it on the template. And then I'm going to assign it. And then I'm going to close. And you see how I've got that, that my mouse now has the cursor, shows it's recording. Now it's going to record everything that I type. So I'm going to put student name, whatever their name is student teacher, whatever their teacher name is, date, and maybe I decide, oh, I don't want date, I'm going to put um, room number. It's going to actually record date and then back it out and do room number. It's very fast. You'll barely notice it, but that's what it'll do. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to go to, you can't see my tool there, but I'll just go here and I'll go stop. So now it's recorded that. Now if I go Control Shift H, it types it. And since I didn't push Enter at the end, probably what I should have done is pushed Enter twice. So it puts that in. So the student would put their name, their teacher, their room number. Date, I just leave as a place saver because that's the way it is. If you're doing it as um, MLA format, you probably want to do this where it's over on the right side, it's the correct font, Calibri isn't a good MLA font, but Times New Roman font size 12. Whatever else goes with the format that your classroom teacher wants them to use, great chance to talk to the classroom teacher. Now the short key, Control Shift H, goes with the login. So if your login is generic for all fifth graders or all third graders, then when, when they log in as that third grade profile, this short key is going to work. You can do two things about that. You can either have each student create their own macro with their own short key, or you can have Control Shift H as their macro for the heading short key and have them then go in and edit with their name and their teacher. Whatever works better for you. But that's how you do it. And um, I'll post this on our wiki so that you can see it and refer to it. Any questions, feel free to ask. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.